Greetings Masanda Wana, greetings football lovers. We are back with another installment of the Yellow Corner as we bring you game 12 of Mameli Sundowns in the DSTV Premiership as the mighty Brazilians travel to Cape Town to take on Cape Town City on Sunday afternoon at half past three. Krabs, welcome back. How are you? Ah, I'm not as on Jeff, like I'm hot, love, but I'm not winner. No, no, I'm okay, man. I'm okay. I'm glad you are back. And yeah, uh, after this one, we are left with, I think, two more previews before we go on a month's break, uh, a well-deserved deserved month as uh, break, man. Uh, before we get uh, into this preview, wraps, uh, I think we need to apologize, man, uh, to everyone for not being able to bring you guys the preview of our previous match as we took on uh, Fiston Mayel's game uh, team Pyramids FC, yeah, uh, in the Kev Champions League game week four, we had issues that were beyond our control, so we failed to uh, bring you that preview, but uh, we put out a statement on both uh, X as well as Instagram. So for those who don't have uh, social media accounts, man, apologies, man. I'm sure a, a few of you searched and searched and searched and you couldn't find uh, uh, the yellow corner, so apologies for that. Yeah, we promise that you will definitely get the two remaining previews uh, after this one. Man, eh? uh, Rob, in the game, uh, what do you call Pyramids? I keep forgetting the name of this team, man. Uh, in the game, yeah, Pyramids, we saw a lot of uh, our big guns coming back from injuries. Great news, eh? Yeah, no, great news. I think uh, we've missed a lot of uh, uh, key players. And I'm glad that uh, some of the players were given the opportunity to play. I saw so, uh, Mashiko uh, played as a left back, and also Zungu uh, was introduced in the uh, first half. So it's great to have everyone back, as well as uh, Le Rivaldo Lena is back. So I think it is great, and also it will give us a great competition uh, going forward. Yeah, no, great news, man. I was so happy to see River back. Uh, I was so happy to see uh, uh, Mvala uh, back you know, on the bench, you know, and a, a few other guys, you know. Just unfortunately, Mawere came out injured after uh, putting on a great performance, you know. The, 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 those few minutes that Debza played, he was actually uh, sublime, and I loved what he did after the game. Uh, to that loud mouth, yeah, 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 pyramid. So, yeah, and I'm sure, I'm sure a few of our guys uh, will come back later on uh, 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 game year. Yeah, uh, Cape Town City, man. Speaking of Cape Town City, man, uh, what have you made of their season so far? They, 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 they currently fourth on the league. They've played 14 games. They've won eight of those. They've drawn only one, lost five of their games. They've scored 16 goals, considered 11 goal difference. They are, get five. They are currently on 25 points and they are averaging 1.79 points per game. I think, I think they are where they should be. They are where I where I expected them to be at the beginning of the season. I remember during their pre-season, I think it was uh, in, in, in Limpopo. What's this? There's, there's, there's a lot, man, how Atumela Polokwani on your left. I can't remember what it's called. They were camping there. And uh, I think it was Tabo Nodada. He went uh, live on Instagram and kept asking the teammates to hire uh, uh, predictions for the league, you know. And they, they set the bar really high, a lot of those guys. And when the season started, they didn't start so well. They lost uh, quite a lot of their games. But they, in, they did in, in their last few, they were able to put on a great run, just that they, um, they eventually lost their last uh, game. But I think they've done uh, uh, really well uh, uh, so far. Eh? Yeah, no, I think uh, so far, I think they've done very well. And look at the players that they have. They don't have those high-profile players, but... Uh, in the position that they are uh, in the season, I think it is a good position. And it's, we spoke about how they didn't start well uh, when the season started. But so far, I think they've done very well. And in their last five games, they've won four and they've lost one. So I think uh, they are doing very well. And uh, I think uh, Tintla Lena uh, is starting to, to, to find uh, that great balance in the team. And also, Mayu mm. was crucial last season. In the last five games, I think he has been doing very, very well. And also, the guys that uh, are playing around Mayu, Lebon, I think they've had that uh, positive impact uh, into the team. So I think uh, the number one, the number four 
a spot. I think it is good for them, but I think they can push for that uh, second because of they have that uh, a good squad and also they have that uh, a good coach. And I think they can finish uh, in the second spot, but it will be difficult because of they will be competing against Orlando Perret. That is a, a team that is more better in terms of the squad. Mm-hmm. And uh, you, you you touched on Mayo as well as uh, the supporting cast around him. You know, unfortunately for them, they go into this game they will be without a uh, two of their uh, 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 frontline uh, three in Mayo who got suspended, who got a red card in their last game against Stellenbosch and uh, Kutumela, uh, 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 who's a, a loni from Sundowns. So it's going to be really difficult for them because. Mario is currently on five uh, league goals, né? and the next one is a uh, uh, Rhodes, who are, who's on uh, three goals. Uh, the guy that they, they, they signed, and he started the season well by scoring in the first game of the season, uh, Pacencio or something like that, he's only scored uh, one goal. So you, you how, how big a miss will uh, Kutu be in Tole, le, 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 le Mayo? I think there will be huge, huge, huge misses, you know. Kutu, yes, is the only has a uh, one goal, you know, but he's played so many games, and that tells you, you know, uh, a team like is happy with what he brings into the team, the effort that he brings, and then Mario not being there, he's their main man, he's their uh, 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 the guy that they look up to to find the back of their net, net. So he won't be there one for the goals, net two. You know, when you play the defenders, when they play against a, a quality player, his presence in J makes them uneasy. So it will affect them in that sense. So I think uh, uh, this this is going to really, really affect them. Eh? Yeah, no, I think there's definitely a, a miss Kutumela. I think uh, with the experience that uh, Kutumela has, I think the, the, it will be needed in this type of games because of you look at Bo Mario, Bo Huteman, Bo Rout, Bo Fisher, those are still uh, young boys. So a guy like Kutumelo who's a leader in that front line, I think he will be missed. And also he spoke about Mario uh, who, who has scored five goals. I think they will definitely miss him. And uh, this season Mario doesn't only score, I think he offers creativity, can drop a little bit deep and uh, 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 Kutumela goes uh, up front and plays as, as a number nine. So I think they'll definitely miss their mobility. Yeah, Kutumela and also uh, Mayo. Yeah, no, true, man. But they have one player who will definitely be uh, 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 playing on Sunday. A quality, quality player, man. In Kielo and Cupido. What have you made of him? How good is he, perhaps? I think I think he's a, he's a, he's a good player. And uh, in the, in the previous games, I saw that he was given uh, an armband. So I think SA player is improving. And also, I don't, I can't remember which game it was, where he eliminated two players and he played a, a cross. And for for a defender, that that's very very rare to find a defender eliminating two players and uh, and playing a beautiful uh, cross. So I think uh, he's 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 developing and he's getting there. So I think. If he continues playing like that, I think he can he can uh, uh, be the player that is likely maybe selected to go to the Afcon and represent the country because of so far on the on the Jala sharp. Uh, unfortunately, on the Afcon front, the uh, preliminary squad was announced, and I don't think he made it. And uh, from what I read somewhere, Corey, once you submit the fifty. You can make uh, changes to that. You can only choose for, from that 50. The game you're talking about, it was a game at Royal AM where he killed a few defenders and then he played a, a cutback to Rhodes who finished. So I think that boy is really, really comfortable on the ball. He he is a Sundowns type player, I'm fine with. I'm not saying we should go by him or anything like that, but he would fit so Sundowns. And I wouldn't be surprised if we go for him at some point, but he'll definitely fit uh, at sundowns. He's very cool and uh, composed on the ball. He, he he loves taking the risk, you know, in terms of uh, playing out, and that helps him because what he can draw a, a two or three players to him, and then if he bypasses them, it means so there's numerical superiority, obviously, for, 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 for the team, you know, so he's really, really good, and for uh, such a, 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 a technically a, a gifted player, né? 
he's also good at defending you know uh, you find the players that are very good on the ball they are not so good at def- def- defending so yeah now he strikes the balance so so well i think that i think that boy is a top 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 quality player i mean he can pass out man he can break the line he's yeah no, he's, he's he's a top top talent and i understand i was worried about some is a security hey man they did the experience you know but they, they they definitely saw something in him and you can tell of this leadership qualities as well so yeah no a definitely a top top player let's talk about sundowns ups let's talk about uh, two players that i think are doing really well man uh in bongani zungu and uh mawere they were home queen. can you play devza lishjumba at the same time and if you were how do you play them uh together I think I think they can but obviously you need to, to 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 adjust the team and make a, some adjustment but I think it is doable but you you need to make certain sacrifices and bench other players and it won't be easy so I think man I, I think it's doable but it won't be easy because of there are some adjustment and a, a, a sacrifices that needs to be made if you were to play them i know i caught you off guard with this ne? if you were to yeah. play them what what formation would you play if was allow a little i think it will be four two four because of i i, I believe uh zungu is a six and they were is a six but he can also be a number eight uh, depending on what you want uh, uh, from him in, in, in certain games, because of, he can be closer to uh, uh, offensive players. Hence, the goal against uh, Pyramid where he was closer to the box. So I think between Zungu and uh, Mukwena, obviously Mukwena will be a more offensive number six, and Zungu will be a, a defensive middle fielder where he is closer to the uh, uh, defenders and. Mukwena is more closer to the offensive uh, players. I fully agree with you. That's the same system that I had in mind. I think, I think it might not work perfectly in a middle field three. I think there's a double pivot. They would be excellent. You know, yes, Tebza has a history of playing more advanced. Uh, what do you call it? Super Sport? He was more of an eight. You know, but now man, he's a six. So I think they can complement each other so well. You know. Uh, uh, and they sacrifice Tono Guagatun. I thought about them. How do you now include someone like Alende in that team, which is so profitable to the team? You know, so yeah, I agree with you. I think they can play together, but I don't think as a three it would work because uh, one of them would have to be a more advanced. You know, a, 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 even though like two, one would be going uh, f- further up. But I think. As Bali two, they can uh, complement each other so so well, man. Let's get into Cape Town City and what we can expect from them. Ne? Uh, this is them. They seemingly playing uh, a back three in, in, in most of their games. Ne? They have a uh, Cupido on the right, uh, uh, centrally they have Godino, and then uh, on the left they have a uh, uh, Stomofan here. Then and then the wing backs would be Gonzalez on the left, and then. Um, keys on on, on 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 the right and then they have two uh, central middle figures in Slater and the young boy I think it's from the academy as well as a uh, Ambina ne? those two just sit in front of uh, the back three ne? and it's so difficult to break them directly because they have that strong spine in the middle of the park you know so there's that compactness more ne? and then uh, they have the the, the wing backs that are very uh, 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 offensive more so uh, uh, gonzalez uh, on the left uh, i think that guy is a very, very good player when he arrived in south africa in my doubts guy and because he was he struggled to track back but i think he has adjusted you know uh, uh, to the weather and everything he's now he now feels at home in south africa so he's very good he's a very offensive and powerful uh, 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 wing back he gets into the box he takes on the right back you have to look at uh, just have to look at the two assists that uh, he, he had 
earlier on, uh, a few a few uh, games ago, they are very similar. One year uh, against Raleigh, and he takes on the right back. The one year Chiefs, he does that and uh, he, he crosses uh, the ball. Uh, so he's uh, 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 very good, man. He's now on uh, three assists. He's the, he leaves the charts. They are charts. Yeah, he assists. And like I said, the one thing I know, he helps with uh, uh, tracking back. He helps uh, Stomo. Uh, with uh, the defending in the game, yeah, 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 yeah. in some of their games, a particular game, yeah, Real AM, not Real AM, Stellenbosch, they played a really, really high line, you know, which in a way helps them because it, it helps them win the ball uh, high up, you know, and they closer to 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 to, to the opponents as box. Do I think they will do so in this match? Not really. Uh, I think. And they won't, they won't play in a, low, in a low block, but they won't be as high as they usually are in most of their, in most of their games. And they won't be, uh, what do you call it, this, high pressing us. They will not high press us and try to win the ball uh, around their 18, you know, because we, they know what will happen if, uh, 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 they do that. And, then, and like I said, uh, Copido, he, he's their main man on the ball, uh, 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 in their build-up phase. Uh, he he's the one who progresses the ball and yeah that's I expect him to continue uh, doing so and I expect uh, Gonzalez to go at uh, our 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 head back and yeah uh, but they definitely gonna miss uh, Mayo. Uh, another thing, uh, I think I think because they don't have uh, le 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 ma, uh, le, 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 le Mayo, ne? yeah I think uh, uh, Rhodes will be very key uh, in this match because he started scoring goals now. He's their second top goal scorer in the league. He's now on three goals. So I think uh, he'll be getting uh, in, in, into the box quite frequently because they have to find goals from somewhere. Your thoughts? Yeah, and I think them moving to a, a, a bad three, I think it makes sense because of previously they, they, they were playing four at the back. And they have a, a right back and a left back who are more offensive, which were uh, um, Kize and Fanirde. And them being too offensive, it, great, it created a lot of 2v2s because of teams will uh, hit them on transition because of uh, we found that only two defenders were left at the back, which were their center backs and uh, uh, um, Kize and and Fanirden will be out of position. So them playing a threat at the back, I think it, it, it is very key because of it also gives them enough numbers uh, to stop uh, the transition and to stop uh, the, the, the 2v2s that, were, that they were experiencing when they're playing uh, 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 with uh, uh, four defenders. And also I think their, their style of play, I think it needs a guy like uh, 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 Nodad, who has legs, and also it can cover a lot of distances because of if you you, you play a, a, a three at the back, that means you need someone who can cover spaces on the left and also on the right when your uh, 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 when your wing banks uh, can't drag back because of uh, one thing about to know that is that he has that endurance and that stamina to 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 close the attack. So I, I believe that he he, he is needed in this type of a uh, uh, setup that uh, Tinkler. Uh, has and also I spoke about the mobility that they have uh, uh, up front and I uh, and also we highlighted that you'll definitely miss uh, Mario and uh, and uh, uh, Kutumel. So I think for them it will be difficult to come with that combination play and also to 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 come up with the mobility where Mario will go on the side sometimes uh, drops a little bit back and also uh, uh, that confuses the the the, the defenders of of the of the opponents and also what it's what is important is that they need to defend as a team against Stellan Bosch man I think Stellan Bosch should have scored five goals or, or, or more because of Cape Town City didn't defend as a team the guys who are playing up front they have the opportunity to stop the attack before the attack gets to the final third because of if you are a, a, an offensive player you don't try enough to stop the attack that means you expose your your, your middle fielders and also your your, your defenders and a, 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 a team like Stellenbosch that had that had pace i think they created a lot of 
a, a, a counter attack situations because of the front line of uh, Cape Town City didn't work so hard to drop to to stop the attack. So I think against Sanders that will be very key where your your, your front line they work so hard to stop that attack before the attack reaches the final third. Because once it reaches the final third, that means that anything can happen and like against the against the Bush, they were very very lucky not to concede a, a five or or, or 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 even six what do we need to do to beat them then on sunday i think for us it will be it is very important to utilize spaces i think uh their their formation that they play as much as it suits them but it will give us a uh, spaces also on the whiff and also if one player has to cover for another player that means there will be a, a space on that area so i think for us it will be very very important to utilize their spaces and also i spoke about how they failed to deal with the speed of a uh, stern bush i think for, for mamul sanders we don't have the speed that stern bush has a uh, up front but what will be needed from us i believe that once we approach that final third i think we need to be quicker we need to be a uh, uh, decisive and also we need to have that timing for a pass and timing for for movement in order uh, to punish them and also we need to play sometimes we need to play different because of the opponents that we are facing i believe in some instances i believe we need to play on a, a transition and try to catch them on a counter because of i believe they will throw a, 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 a numbers on us once we we have that ball we need to and make few passes but passes that will get us to the final third much faster and also they play a, a, a double pivot of uh, I, I can't remember the guy you have mentioned and Slatter. also Ambin. yeah Slatter. and and yeah. Slatter and Ambin. i believe if you can overload that area i believe you can uh, 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 outnumber them and it will give us a, a an, advan an, a, an advantage and great goal scoring uh, opportunities and they have a kid who is an experienced uh, goalkeeper but i mean icon i so far man i think kid they need a keeper that will give a, a, a kid a competition because of he has been making some silly uh, mistakes so i believe for sandals i think we need to set those uh, pressing traps around him and try to win the ball high up uh, on the pitch like uh like i think against cheaper united where or well EM, where he made a poor pass and they uh, won the ball back and they were punished great points as usual helps um i think their right side uh, is their weakest actually because i think um he's he's he can go he can go forward but tracking back is an issue for him now because uh, the mileage you know uh Chiefs' best two chances in the first half came from his side. He was out of position. He's, he's usually caught out of position quite a lot now. Eh? Uh, Goldia Stelis, uh, Ora, he was free and he's the left uh, 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 forward. So he was supposed to have been picked by Mkise. So I think we can utilize that space. Mkise, Kamu right being Kamu, how many bombs we, 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 we play the ball uh, behind him. And with the two central middle figures, the one thing that I've picked up is that they prefer to sit central. They don't want to be opened uh, 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 through the middle. They don't really go to the side to cover, uh, uh, as you'd expect a central middle figures to do when uh, the wing back or the full back is out of possession. So I think because of them not going out, we really need to focus Kamu right in Yamkizu, which is our left. Against the... Uh, Stelis, you mentioned Tabaya, how they they they, they sing him. They, they 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 gave away so many chances, and most of the chances came from the break. They they, they played such a high line, and if it wasn't of a uh, awful, a terrible officiating, Stelis could have punished them because twice the lineman uh, called into Arena's offside when he had started uh, the run from his own half. You know, so I think Leona. 
we need to move the ball uh, faster in that uh, 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 final third, you know. If they are high, turn them and uh, play the ball behind. Uh, Raps, uh, how would you line up on Sunday? Uh, I'll have Williams as my goalkeeper, um, Dao as my right back, then my two centre backs, I'll have uh, Gautier and Kenkana, then my left back will be Teres Mashoko, then my six it will be Tebo Mugwena, then in front of him, I'll have Alande and Mudib. Then my front will be Rivero, Tembazon, and Peter Shalini. Okay, uh, we have two uh, different teams, man. Our middle fields are totally different. Uh, I obviously have Williams, I have Mudau at right back, I have River, and uh, Grant as my center backs, and Mashiro left back. I have Zoom, Kulisele, Mbule in my middle field. Uh, I'm not sure about Debza's availability. Yes, he came out the game and so yeah. A pyramid, but I would still start a, a, a Stumba as my six in this one. I'd have a Serino, a Ribeiro as well as Shadow Lily. I'd love to see Ribeiro, uh, uh, who's this Gaston, start a game uh, uh, with uh, Majita, who are regulars. He's been starting game uh, with uh, Majita, and regular, you know, uh, and uh, just give him a, a run in this uh, uh, huge, huge game and see what he can uh, uh, offer us. Score prediction. I think we'll play our first draw of the season, so I, I'll go with 1-1. One, one. I, okay. I think we'll win, Raps. I think we'll win 1-2. I think uh, they will get something, uh, even though they won't have money, but I think they'll get one, but I think we'll get uh, the goals. And yeah, just like that, Masandawana has the end of it, an installment of the Yellow Corner. But before we close this, we just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, guys. Let's enjoy uh, the festivities with our loved ones but at the same time let's be safe let's be safe uh on the roads uh, and may, tra may the travel messages be with everyone who will be traveling home uh, uh or to their holiday destinations uh, this uh, weekend uh for christmas man and yeah let's be safe guys let's not into get let's have a body sometimes more life you know let's not get into things that will lead to us uh, uh losing our lives you know so, so to say so yeah let's be uh, safe guys and uh, come back in one piece man eh? uh, yeah while you guys will be eating the custard that they put him on Monday me and Raps will be previewing our game 13 match as we take on volunteers FC Morocco Swallows until then shop shop masanda wana shop 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 guys shop shop guys